Hello and welcome once again. It's the third game of the day. Match number 24 of the 34th Sharjah Ramadan League S10. Khandan 11 versus Arkham. We are live from Sharjah Cricket Stadium. And let's quickly head down to the centre. And we've got Rashid with the two captains for the toss. Thank you, Combs. Well, it's uh, match number 24 here. We are the sidelines for the all-important toss. I've got the dashing match referee, Mr. Tessin Javid. I've got the captain of Khandan 11, Khashif. And I've got Arkham CC represented by Jafar. Our, uh, Khandan CC is the home team. They'll flip the coin. Let's have a flip, Khashif. Heads, Heads is the call. Tails it is then. Khandan 11 has won the toss. Khashif, toss jeet li, aap kya karenge? Ji, hum betting karenge. अच्छा कंडीशंस को देख के या वैसे ही आपका सोच ये है बस ये चाह रहे हैं कि हम अच्छा टोटल बनाएं क्योंकि कल हमारे साथ थोड़ा सा हम चेस नहीं कर पाए थे थोड़ा हमें प्रॉब्लम हुई थी तो हम चाह रहे हैं कि हम अच्छा थोड़ा इस रन स्कोर करके फिर उसको डिफेंड करें राइट और आप सेम 11 के साथ खेलते हैं तीन चार मैचेस से आज भी वही सेम 11 है जी जी सेम 11 है बिल्कुल नो चेंजेस अच्छा और कितने रन्स आपको लग रहा है कि अच्छे होंगे अराउंड मोर देन 100 रन्स अच्छे होंगे क्योंकि अरकाम से इसी बहुत अच्छी टीम है और उन्होंने लास्ट मैच में भी अच्छे खासे रन्स बनाए हुए तो जितना ज्यादा मैक्सिमम हो अपनी तरफ से ट्राई करेंगे और इंशाल्लाह जीतने की कोशिश करेंगे मैच राइट ऑल द बेस्ट एंड डू वेल थैंक यू वेरी वेलकम राइट जाफर यू लॉस्ट द टॉस अनलकी विद दैट व्हाट वुड यू हैव डन वी वुड हैव बैटेड फर्स्ट आई थिंक दैट्स बीन द जनरल ट्रेंड इन द एंटायर टूर्नामेंट एंड वी वुड हैव फॉलोड दैट Right, and uh, the last game was just uh, an absolute cracker for you guys. Adnan Khan, 94, you got some runs under your belt. How's the mood in the camp? Uh, yeah, well, I think the only unfortunate thing last match was that Adnan didn't his hand century. Uh, we, were all, we were all rooting for him. We wanted him to do it. Unfortunately, you know, it's part of the game. He wasn't able to get there, but um, I'm sure he'll, he'll get another chance and he'll get it next time. Well, there was a lot of people rooting for him, I'll, I'll promise you that, uh, but uh, he's a definitely a good player. Well, what are your uh, targets uh, to restrict them today? Uh, well, we're looking to get them under 100, anyway under 100, 110, I think is uh, chaseable. We've added an additional batsman today for Han Babar, so I think uh, with that and, and the current form the team's in, looking at the last match, I think we've got a solid chance if we keep them under 110 that we can chase. Right, all the best and do well. Thank you so much. Well, uh, the news from the centre is... Uh, Khandan CC has won the toss and elected to bat first. Arkham CC have lost the toss. Khandan 11 have won the toss and they have decided to bat first. Abdullah Asad is uh, the opener who will be facing the first ball and opening the innings here in the com box with me. I've got Asim Sheikh. Asim. One last game of the evening. Left arm bowler into the attack. First ball trips a bit. Wild throw. And they're off the mark with a single. Thank you, Shreve. Good evening. And a good morning. All the viewers, 12.40 here in Sharjah. This is the final game of the night. Third one. Come CC. They put on a show last game that they played, especially at Nan Khan. And it's uh, Azmat who's bowling. Started uh, from the SEA end. A typical fast bowler structure there, as well. Short. We know the short fast bowlers have uh, put in a lot of impact in the international cricket. The sky up in the air, chance for the fielder. Two fielders converging, and that has been taken. Excellent control. Sudden Menon taking that catch, beautifully taken. He's trying to go big, trying to heave that over the covers. But what a good catch, very difficult. And Asmat celebrates, he's got his man. One 
for one. New man in is Muzammil Safdar. Made a fantastic knock in the last game. Catch. Catch. And that has been taken. Same bowler, same fielder, different batter, and a second wicket falling here. Safdar departs for a duck. Well, back to back wickets. This one was uppishly played and. That's a very good catch again from Karan. Two wickets, same bowler, same fielder. And now the score reads one for two. Wide delivery from uh, Azmat. And he wouldn't mind that because, uh, anyways, that ball wouldn't have troubled even if that would have been a legal delivery. So, we want to take this opportunity for applying that pressure onto the batters and pick up another one. Sneak in one more. Good shape onto that delivery. Worked around towards the onside for a single. And what a start here for Arkham. We lost the toss. But uh, the kind of start that they've got, a dream start here. Three for two after the end of the first over. Hamad comes in to bowl, starts with an in-swinging delivery. And uh, well played by Zishan, watchful. But they don't have a lot of time on their hands. It's a 10-over game. They will have to start 
hitting the ball of the pads. He's going to take it now. They'll have to rebuild this innings now after the two early setbacks. One of uh, Tarek Vesi, the other one, Safdat. Zishan Khan, a lot of hopes would be from him. Definitely not the proudest of Khandan right now. So that start. Yes, they're now dealing in singles, trying to build a partnership. Don't like I said, it's a 10 over game. You can do that for a few deliveries, but in the end, it's all going to boil down to those big hitting abilities of these batters. We'll have to hit them and hit them as soon as possible. the gap. Uh, there was a confusion. But, uh, all is well. That ends well. Batter survived. Six for two. Looks like a power play has been ruled here by the men in pink. Here comes CC. Six for two after 1.4. Looks like the left hander on strike. They reconstruct the innings and put a decent total on board. And this pair has to be that which needs to strike and strike well. Swing, appeal. Not out, says the umpire. What a start here for the men in pink shirt. Six for two after 1.5, the power play. Really bossing it. Yes, that swing definitely working wonders for Arkham with the new ball. Pulled and a very good effort. That's a brilliant effort to save a certain boundary. Nicely done. End of the over. Two overs gone, seven for two. Jafar, the captain himself, has uh, brought himself on. Sort of with a slow delivery there. Poor delivery, dispatched, gets a boundary. The first one for Khandan 11. Poor delivery, meant to be dispatched, and uh, erring in his line, paying price for it there, the captain Jafar. Eleven for two after two point two. 
after winning the toss, electing to bat first. Not the best of the starts here coming in for Khandan, but uh, that doesn't uh, define what sort of a team they are. We have uh, Zishan Khan out there, the impact player of the side. Again, down the leg side, wide signal by the Empire. So runs uh, are coming in now. Well, that was a poor delivery. Down the leg side. With Jafar, expensive in his first two. That's much better. Around the off stump, gets an edge, no run there. Well, that's been played up, Ishli. Over point, and that will go all the way for four runs. Good hit from Asad. And scoring some important runs for his side at the moment. Expensive over continues from Jafar. In fact, uh, over the covers, brilliantly played. Picked up the right gap. Extraordinary. Out here from uh, Abdullah Asad, just making sure that he is trying to capitalize onto the bad balls, the power play that they've taken here. Right outside the off stump that has been played uh, wide off the third. Asmat the fielder, and they'll come back for two. This is excellent running. Good running, and uh, Asmat is surprised. How did the batters manage to come back? Cut, but straight to the fielder. Outside off. This time it's cut even better and it will find the fence in no time whatsoever. Sublime timing on that shot and placement was good as well. Really played, uh, picked up the gap and more importantly hit the ball hard. And uh, gets a boundary. Rishan Khan. We have to make sure that he makes his presence felt. He, he got out for a duck in the last game. In fact, for a single. 
Go straight, goes big, goes handsome, goes all the way. A good looking shot, very controlled shot there from Zishan. And picking the safest area on the ground. Really in deep plate. Again, cut away nicely, but uh, the fielder is standing a bit more squarer, making sure that uh, he's not able to find that gap. Towards the offside, and uh, it's just taken a single on that one. This is the fourth over. Jugaraj has gone for 12 on the five balls that he has bowled. And trying to up the ante here, the Pandan 11, Mini Green. Yes, Jagraj, I remember playing against him quite a few times in uh, Mulkwen. That's nicely played towards covers. Zishan Khan has taken a liking towards Jagraj. Expensive over as uh, Khandan 11 tried to fight back and come back into the game. Four overs go on 34 for two. Samim into the attack. Starts off with a wide. Well, uh, can a bowler bowl slower than that? It's a question that will uh, invite a lot of different debates and arguments. Well, there's a new rule in Abu Dhabi for a minimum speed limit. I think Tamim is definitely below that. That was the slowest ball I've seen in the tournament. limit belongs to the, the fastest and the second fastest lane. I don't know how we can apply that over here, Shreem. But well be below that, because that minimum speed limit is 120 clicks. <laughs> Takes the edge. And that's not going to go all the way, because there's no pace on the ball. Even if you don't keep a third, it's still fine. The point fielder can anyways come and cover it up. Absolutely. I think this is... A different kind of approach from Tamim, bowling it very slow. I haven't seen that. But as long as it works for them, it should be okay. That's a no ball. Ball pitching outside the wicket. That will be a free hit on offer for uh, Abdullah Asad. No pace on offer, just not able to clear. And that's what happens when uh, you don't offer pace to this bat. You have to take all the power out of your back 
and then hit the big one. What's more difficult is that you need to time the ball as well. That's where usually most of the batsmen, they, they fall for that trap. Not the case with Zishan. He takes a step down and he goes on the roof. Straight down the ground. It's the biggest of the lot. Yes, again, that slower delivery, but this time he was uh, ready for it. Came down, dancing down the track and hit that straight over. Out of the park of uh, the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. New balls, please. Ball's back. So is the game. Single taken. This is uh, gets difficult for the for the batters. The kind of pace that has been offered here by Tamim. You have to step down, use power, time the ball, then hit it. Yes, he's bowling really slow. That's in the air. Will land safely. Will be a single to end the fifth over. Five overs, Khandan 11, slowly getting back into the game. 50 for two. Abdul Ghazi has been introduced into the attack. And he has been played straight down the ground. Wajahat but uh, collects it on a bounce. A couple of runs taken. Good running between the wickets. Uh, Zishan is taking the charge on himself, which is the right move here, Shoaib. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, they need to build a partnership. They have built a partnership of 51 runs. This is good batting from Asad and uh, Zishan Khan. They need to continue the way they have batted and get to at least 110. Definitely possible. The momentum shifting in favor of uh, Khandan 11. Another short ball. This time, even better connection. Not the best of deliveries. It's gone on this first year of uh, the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. Zishan joining the party. It's taken for runs here, Abdullah Ghazi. And the uh, right approach coming in from Zishan is taking the ownership on his uh, shoulders of uh, restructuring this, this innings here. Initial after that initial setback. Again, uh, pulled it. 
and it has gone all the way. He's trying to bowl short, but uh, needs to realize that he doesn't have pace on offer. Abdullah Ghazi. Really picked up there by Zishan. He moves on to 41 of 17 deliveries. Go straight. Chance for Wajahat Bhatt. But uh, just dropping short of him. He's not able to get underneath that one. Settle for a couple of runs there. So this is good, intentful batting here from uh, Zishan Khan. Taking the charge. Owning this phase of uh, restructuring this innings. Oh, that's a brilliant hit. What a hit that is. Absolutely magnificent. Zishan, he's taking the game away. Let me correct that. He's snatching the game away from Arkham with those big blows. Well, uh, Abdullah Ghazi, he's taken for runs here. 22 of them in five deliveries. A tough outing here for Abdullah Ghazi. He's bowling length ball, which is not helping. And this one up in the air and dropped. Dropped by Jagraj. A chance for Abdullah Ghazi where he could have had the final laugh. Has been grasped there by Jagraj Singh. Six overs gone, 73 for two. Seventy-three for two after six. Zishan Khan getting a life on that last ball of the previous over. How costly is that going to be? What a knock this is. Fifty runs for Zishan Khan of just twenty deliveries. That is what Sharjah S10 is all about. First half century by a Khandan eleven player. Definitely uh, increases his stake in the property of the Khandan. What a slap, what a shot. Brilliant onslaught here from uh, Zishan Khan. He's putting on a show. Brilliant batting here. That was a slap towards extra cover. Seven for two. Kasim pulling his first over has been greeted with a boundary. That flies off towards the third for a boundary. You're just not able to find answers to this onslaught from Khandan 11. Well, anything he touches is turning into gold for Zishan. That has not come from the middle of the bat, but he still manages to get four runs. They've moved on to 81 in just 6.2 overs. They look well set to get to 130. They need to see the back of uh, Zishan Khan, Arkham, if they want to restrict Khandan 11. Looking for two. And Abdullah Asad trusting and uh, going on to that danger end. Six 
60 of 23. Last match, it was Adnan Khan who had a clear-cut chance to score the first century of the S10. And uh, looks like that uh, it's going to be a no-ball. And they come back for two. This is excellent running. Zishan wants to keep strike. He will keep strike. And that's a no-ball. That's insult to injury. Free hit on offer. Regardless, it is a situation of free hit here. Zishan Khan is throwing kitchen sink at everything. That's a big no ball. That's it straight down. Again. But this time it won't go all the way. They will get to. And the danger man, Zishan Khan, will be back on strike. This over has yielded 15 runs. 88 for two. Wait for the signal of the umpire. That's called as a wide. You have to re-ball that one. Make that 16 of 4 of this over from Kasim. And it all started from the third over. And Jafar came into ball. Started to leak runs there. Big, big no ball there. Oh, I beg your pardon. Big wide. Well, it's... Uh one o'clock in the morning, Asim. You're excused. That one has been hit straight to long on. One bounce, a fumble, but will only be a single. Seven overs bowled. Not yet. One more ball to go. It's been 17 runs. Seventeen of the first five deliveries in this over from Kasim. Oh, that's a good ball from Kasim to end the over. Seven overs bowled. Khandan 11. Very happy Khandan. 90 for two. Love the confidence of the captain. After conceding 23 in that first over, Abdullah Ghazi has been trusted again. And uh, to talk more about it, joining me in the commentary box, Mohammad Rashid. Welcome back, Rashid. Thank you, Asim. Good morning. Very good morning. <laughs> Abdullah Ghazi comes in. He'll be bowling to Zishan Khan, who's on a rampage. 65 or 26 deliveries. Doesn't opt for that short pitch delivery. He was trying to bowl in the previous over. Two there, easy to. They uh, they want Zishan Khan to face maximum number of deliveries in the last 
18 balls, face one of those. And we're on to face maximum number of the an open chance for him to get to that three-figure mark if he keeps maximum strike. So certainly, and Abdullah Ghazi, he'll have to think of a plan B. Plan that he will not have to go with is short balls. Well, another length ball deposited towards the mid-wicket. Zishan is striking and he's striking big. Moves to 73 of 28. This is excellent batting here. We're opting to go for the slower delivery. Abdullah Ghazi picked up really well by Zishan Khan. He was on a length, laying his front foot and then hitting it over mid-wicket for a maximum. 97, the partnership now between these two. What a knock. Of 98, 97, they have added. They were one for two. He goes straight. He goes big. He goes right under... The side screen for a six. Brilliant hit by Zishan. He's on a roll. Well, certainly, what a good shot that one. Pitched up by Abdullah Ghazi. And he's hit it over his head for a maximum. 100 runs up for Khandan 11. 104 for the loss of two. 103 the partnership. <laughs> and looks like uh, even Abdullah Ghazi is going to get to that milestone. Excellent onslaught here from uh, Zishan and they'll come back for two. Excellent running between the wickets. And look at how Abdullah Asad has supported him. That partnership of 105 is 18 runs for uh, Abdullah Asad. 81 of 30 deliveries for Zishan Khan. And he's the first player of Khandan, CC, Khandan 11 to score a half century in the S10 and he can be the first person in the entire tournament to get to 100. Well, what a knock that, what an achievement that would be. Slower delivery, that's been picked and picked well but they have protection at the cover sweepers, no. No protection there. The fielder from long off will have to do the clearing. There's no player standing, in fact, uh, He's standing way too straighter. There was an extra cover who was standing wide of long off. And this is something that as a wicket keeper you need to keep an eye on. Bowler as well, the captain as well, all three to be blamed. Yeah, that was probably the plan. He went for that extra cover fielder rather than the cover sweeper. And bold delivery outside off stump whip was offered. Now this will be Asad Abdullah after a long while coming on to face. Shan should be hoping that he gets a boundary from somewhere. He does not want to run two again to keep strike. Well, certainly they are struggling out there. They have run quite a few doubles. Last delivery. Whacked that towards mid-wicket. They will come back for the second. Looks like it. No. One run contained. End of a rather eventful over. 43 runs Abdullah Ghazi gave away in his two. Eight overs done. 110 for the loss of two.
straight. He has a clear cut opportunity here. It's a power play over. Single taken there by Umar Abbas. Vishan will be on strike. Kasim conceded uh, 17 runs in the first over. He's coming in to bowl the power play over. Lassim Asad Abdullah has uh, been retired out, which is why Umar Abbas has come in. Nelson on the board for Khandan 11. And you take that partnership away. New man coming in, retired hurt. Nelson on board. Zishan batting on 84. Power play, floating power play. Everything on offer. Well, uh, he doesn't fail to surprise. Another glorious shot. It was a slower delivery. Waited for it and smoked it on the offside for a boundary. Zishan moves to 88 of 32 deliveries. A beautiful shot there. Look at that. Waiting for the delivery and making sure he hits it over the head of cover fielder. Racing away towards the boundary. He had committed to the shot before the ball uh, came through. But keeping an eye on the ball right till the end. Realizing it's a slower one. Hit it uh, down the ground. There is a fielder manning that area. Wajahat but gets a single. Moves on to 89. Ulasim, is he making the same mistake as Adnan Khan did in the last game, picking up that single? It's a power play. That's he should have had that opportunity to keep strike and have got closer to that three-figure mark in this over itself. That has been played uppishly in the gap towards the cow corner for a boundary. Umar Abbas joins the party. Length delivery once again picked and picked well over the head of mid-wicket. That raised off towards the boundary. A similar story what we saw with Adnan Khan happening the other night. He was off strike at a crucial moment. Zishan, meanwhile, he's batting on 89 of 33, but he's off strike. Two more balls to go in this over. Umar plays both these deliveries. He goes big, he goes handsome, he goes out of the ground for a six. What a shot from Umar Abbas. Boundary followed by a six. Well, this is not very good bowling from Qasim. Bowling it in the zone, in the arc. And Umar Abbas on that occasion hitting it out of the park. Beautiful connection, good sound of the bat. Another half a dozen added to the total. One more delivery to go. Zishan Abbas would be praying, Zishan Khan would be praying rather that it goes for a maximum, it goes for a boundary. Anything but a single. Well, single in that form, always welcome. Wide down the leg side. What a comeback this has been from Khandan 11 after losing two quick wickets. That partnership between Zishan Khan and Nasad was just wonderful. 109 runs before Asad was retired out. Last ball. Can he get a boundary here? I'm sure he will. Or does it have enough legs? Should come back for two. And they will. Zishan will keep strike for the final over. Nine gone. 129 for three. Nine overs, 129 for three. Zishan Khan batting on 89 of 33. Has a clear cut chance to get to the three figure mark. The important aspect would be that he keeps strike, and it is going to be Azmat who will be bowling. He's a decent bowler, mind you. He bowled a fantastic first over. 
that was cowed away on the offside behind point. And uh, definitely want to have a check here. That was a close one, very close one. Azmat went for three runs, picked up two wickets. A big task here in front of Zishan. Played on the offside and gets a single. He's off strike now. Well, this is getting the pattern very similar to what Adnan Khan was facing in the last game. He's on 90 now. He's got five deliveries. Umar Abbas would be definitely facing one of them. If he manages to pick up a single, that will give him four deliveries to get to that three-run magic figure. That's been played up in the air, over point. He wants to come back for the second. He is. Can he get back for three? I'm sure that wavered throw will help them get back for three. Zishan comes back on strike. Four more balls to go. He is into his 90s. Can he get those 10 runs in the last four balls? Well, different opinions here in the commentary box. Played on the offside. And will get back for two. Misfield will result in Zishan, Ahmed coming, Zishan Khan coming back for two. Should have been a single, but uh, slipping, tripping at the last moment, resulting in... Zishan Khan having another opportunity. Three more balls to go. A dot ball. Asim, that is very similar to what happened in the last game. Similar line, similar length, wide outside the off stump. Well, looks like now Arkham is focusing on not <laughs> letting the batter get to that 100 run mark because their batsmen did not get it. They don't want. Another batsman to score against them. Two more deliveries. 92. Oh, once again. Swing and a miss. Trying it too hard on that occasion. And now, it looks very, very difficult. Unless Asmuth balls a no ball. Well, it would have been an opportunity. Had he stood his ground, it was a shot to be played to an extra cover. It was too premeditating, that one. Very similar to the mistake Adnan Khan made in the last game. Goes up, goes in the air, chance for Jafar, he settles underneath it and takes it. So they managed to keep Zishan Khan under the highest individual total posted by a player in S10, which still, that records, record is still with Adnan Khan. Well, that was a very good catch by Jafar. That ball went miles in the air. And slight bit of momentum coming back towards Arkham CC. And a very good innings coming to an end for Zishan Khan. Beautiful knock. He came in when the team was under a bit of pressure. And he took, soaked all the pressure and got to a brilliant 92. Well, definitely one of the finest rescue innings you could ever witness here in the Sharjah Cricket Stadium. And if there is an opportunity to apply in civil defense, he would definitely be the preferred option. Well, that's a look at the batting card for Khandan 11. Asad retiring on 19 of 16. OS and Safdari, OAC and Safdar, while well, both of them got off to a very terrible start, going getting out on ducks. But then Zishan Khan came in. He was the savior for them. 92 of 38. And Umar Abbas also providing some support. 16 of 5 at the end of 10 overs. Khandan 11 reaching 135 for the loss of four wickets. That's the bowling card for 
Arkham CC. Seven bowlers were used and they did go for a bit of runs. Abdullah Ghazi he was the, the most expensive, going for 43 runs in his two overs. The rest of them couldn't do much except for Asmat, who bowled two brilliant overs, just gave away nine runs and picked up three important wickets, making sure that they restrict them to 135 runs in the 10 overs. They gave away eight extras, but overall, it was a good batting performance from Khandan 11. Those are the highlights. Picking up a couple of wickets, that was a good catch taken. Beautifully done. Back-to-back -back wickets for Asmat. But after that, it was all about Asad and Zishan Khan. They made sure they kept the hitting going. Got runs of some good deliveries and the loose deliveries were played out of the ground. Some good shots coming in, especially from Zishan Khan, who was on a different role altogether. He had a particular liking for Qasim and Abdullah Ghazi. Beautiful shots. The power play over was taken for some runs as well. He kept the hitting on. Didn't let the bowler settle down. That was the last shot of the innings. Good catch taken by the captain, Jafar. At the end of it, Khandan 11, making sure they get to 135. And now, Arkham CC, when they come out to chase this total, they'll have to score 136 runs in the 60 deliveries they have. We'll dive into a short break and we'll be back for the run chase.
Welcome back to the Sharjah Cricket Stadium, Arkham Cricket Club. We are out to chase 136 from 60 deliveries with a required run rate of 13.6 runs and over. It will be a big ask here, but out there are the two impactful openers for the men in pink, Farhan Babar and uh, Adnan Khan. Now, mind you, Adnan Khan still holds the record, the highest run by an individual in an innings in the S10. 94, he was unbeaten on. Zishan Khan had an opportunity to get to that three-figure mark, but uh, a similar story remained off strike at the crucial juncture of the game. And uh, to talk more about this run chase, joining me in the com box is uh, going to be Rashid. Thank you, Asim. As you mentioned, two of the better hitters for Arkham CC, Adnan Khan, owning that red helmet. And alongside him, Farhan Babar, he's a late addition to the side, playing his first game of the S10. Second game, I stand corrected. Raheem goes up ish, goes towards the extra, in fact wide of long off and uh, gets a boundary, what a start, making a mark here for An Babar, statement loud and clear. Well, the intent is quite visible, that was a pitched up delivery to Farhan Babar and he's not going to miss out, he's a classy batter, all left handers are, that was a very good shot. Getting himself four runs on the first delivery. Change in the field. Long off is placed alongside long on. Those are two fielders outside the 30-yard circle. The batter wasn't ready. That's a common problem when Farhan Babar is batting. Keeps looking down. Down the leg side. Will be a wide and wayward in terms of uh, the line there. Awesome, this is going to be a cracker of a game. Two of the bigger hitters of the ball, Adnan Khan and Farhan Babar out there in the middle, and they're all set to chase this 136 runs. Meanwhile, Khandan 11, they have a golden opportunity to get those two runs on the board. On the pads, clip towards square leg, no chance of a run. That will be a problem which Arkham CC is going to face. As, as long as Adnan Khan is out there, they'll not have those quick singles taken. They won't be able to convert those singles into two runs. Raheem, five of the first two deliveries. Babar on four of two. And these are two crucial overs, the power play overs. Andan 11 lost two wickets in the very first over. Oh, going for that swish across the line. Good delivery, missing out. Barber, very lucky, he was close to the off stump. That's a dugout for Arkham CC. Abdullah Ghazi batted up, coming in next, probably. Lower delivery from uh, Raheem. He's not able to get uh, enough uh, connection there. Could come back after being hit for a boundary in the very first ball. Bowled a wide, then three dot balls on the trot. That's a good comeback by Raheem. He's cramping for Anbabar for room. Not bowling according to his field, but Farhan Babar is unable to take that opportunity. Five for no loss here. They need a boundary or two. The last two balls here. 
especially in the power play overs, you can make sure that you have that run rate, or, or you're well ahead of the run rate at least. Again, down the leg side, onto the pads of Farhan Babar, just not able to get his timing right, missing the line, and uh, gets a leg by. Adnan Khan uh, would definitely need to put that innings behind. It's a new day, fresh new day. Have to remake, reconstruct that similar sort of an innings. Khan Cricket Club, they've been challenged here by Khan Bang 11 because of that uh, fantastic knock from Zishan Khan in the first innings. Have a mid wicket and a uh, long on in place. Pass way outside off stump will be called a wide. Is called a wide. Close one there. Going against the bowling side. Seven for no loss. Man who likes bit. Keeper was not happy. So certainly that was a very close call, but Adnan Khan, he loves that cover, extra cover region area. Bowling to his strength here, Raheem. Oh, goes for the big hit. And they're crossing through for a single. Shy at the stumps by the wicket keeper. And that will be one run added, and Adnan Khan will keep strike. Seven on the board. Eight, beg your pardon, on the board after the first over. Omar Abbas will be sharing the new ball with uh, Rahim. They need uh, runs here. Power play, mandatory power play now, the second over. It goes well. I won't be surprised if they continue taking the power play, the floating one, especially with these two batters out there in the center. Well, I, I feel they haven't done their homework well. Uh Khandan 11, they've got a mid-wicket and long on in place. So Adnan Khan likes the long off region more. It's a good delivery. He'll not go for that shot towards mid-wicket early on. Likes to take his time and then plays more of his shots towards that V. Who would know better than Rashid. About Adnan who has played a lot of cricket with him. Well, yeah, it's been probably 15 years. He was a 12-year-old boy when he first started playing with me. Nice way of uh, putting across his age. Nine for no loss. They need to go all guns blazing at the opposition now. They cannot wait for too late. Just two fielders outside. One cover sweeper, the other one squish mid-wicket. So expect some short deliveries coming in to Farhan Babar. Anything pitched up will go over mid-off mid-on. Umar Abbas once again. Oh, that's been played up in the air over mid-off. Doesn't have the legs to go all the way. Wasn't timed as well, but they'll come through for two runs. This is good bowling from Umar Abbas and Khandan 11. Keeping it away from their arc. Especially for Abnan Khan, they are trying to keep it closer to the body at the initial stages. Because if you offer Vrit, he's going to go outside the off-stump, he's going to exploit that area. You have to really think and bowl, you have to be really smart in terms of your approach. 
But certainly, smart cricket would help Khandan 11. Well, Farhan Babur, he would want to get some runs. Long off in place now. And he's bowled it on the legs. Good fielding there. Brilliant effort coming in. Certainly saving four runs for the team. Well, what a start here for uh, Khandan 11. And mind you, it's, it has to be heroics that needs to come through because it's a run chase, it's going to be pressure, it's going to be that requirement of making sure that they keep that required run rate under control. Now it's hovering close to around 15 and over. Well, that's played up in the air, that's gone miles in the air. Three fielders converging and he's picked it up. Beautiful catch taken by Tariq there. Getting rid of the dangerous Farhan Babur. First blow and a big blow to Arkham CC. It's a big one, definitely. The left-hander too early onto a shot. Desperate times there. They had to go after it and uh, it's Farhan Babur who departs. Out for six of eight. Just could not uh, capitalize onto things. End of the innings here for him. Batsman in Wajahat but down the leg side and uh, this is a downside not have runs coming through looks like that uh, went through the pads of uh, Wajahat wide not called Last ball coming in, Umar Abbas, oh, that's been hoiked up in the air, fielder underneath it and he's made a mess of it. That's a chance gifted to Ujahat. End of over number 2, 12 for the loss of 1. And that was that uh, mistimed shot from Ujahat. Should have been another wicket, not to be so, he survives. Like uh, that definitely flicked off from the pads of uh, Wajahat. Even the reaction did not come through. Otherwise, the batsman is the first one to give a reaction. But it's time for Tariq Ovesi. And they have not taken the floating power play here. I think that's the right move. Well, certainly, with the wicket falling in the last over, that's gone up in the air, just short of. Umar there. They're trying to hit the ball too hard. That's what I feel. Arkham CC. They're not getting too much purchase of it. They need to keep this in mind that uh, you're not offering pace. You have to play late. You can't get desperate and commit to the shot a day earlier. Absolutely. Now it's going to be Adnan Khan on strike. He's just faced two deliveries in the 13 deliveries that have been bowled. Oasi comes in, way outside the off stump. We'll have to bowl that again wide. Another run added to the extra. Nandan Khan, that intent is coming in. He's stepping down. He realizes that the, they're bowling slower to him. 
So he wants to get that momentum in as well. Taking to the line, closer to that guideline, making him, making Adnan reach the line of the ball. And if no pace is offered, that is definitely going to be a tough ask for Adnan as well. But certainly, you can see, look at the field place for Adnan Khan. That he can make an idea of what, where that ball is going to be bowled. They've got an extra cover in place, no cover sweeper. So that does tell you that they're going to bowl way outside off stump. He'll probably need to change his guard. Once again, away outside off, that'll be a wide, will have to be re -bowled. Now, Adnan really needs to apply himself really nicely. He has assessed what they are trying to do. He should change his guard. Should come closer to the middle and offline. Usually doesn't miss any ball which is on his uh, the, the, the line of the wickets. He should back his ability to get closer to the line of the off stump. There you go. He's made some adjustment to that. Wants to go for the single, Vajahat, but Nan Khan is not going to do, take those quick singles. That, that's, that's downside. This is what uh, the pressure of run chase does to you. They're going at runner ball now. 45 balls, 121 to get. And we know the ability of these two batters. It's not a question about that. It's just about uh, answering to that pressure situation now. Getting the toe end of the bat. Will have to settle just for a single. Again, it's it's purely lack of uh, application there. You need to adjust yourself. The initial guard that you have, you need to get closer to the line of the off stump because that's how. Or unless you have a very good trigger movement after releasing, immediately move, shuffle, and then play that shot. Well, he tried to do that in the previous shot. Still got a toe end, so it's bowled really away from him. This one is on the stumps. It's been picked up by Wajahat. They've got a fielder there who's made a mess out of it. Welcome boundary coming in for Arkham CC. They needed that and they need more of these to flow in. The frequency of that needs to increase. Flick of the wrist. Should have been an easy stop there for the fielder. Nonetheless, uh, Arkham CC, they are 20 for 1 after 2.5. Six here will definitely help. Oh yeah, the required run rate now. Hovering around the 16 run mark. Currently batting at seven. Last ball of the third over coming up. That's in the zone. Has, a go has he got a hold of it? No, he hasn't. Straight to long off. And that's another wicket down. Well, that's a big wicket of Vajahat Bhatt who departs after hitting a boundary. Hitting it straight, did not get the elevation, was hit flat and Omar Abbas making no mistake there. It was meant to be hit, just did not pick the right area. I think he should have hit wide off, long off, get maximum uh, out of it. But, uh, landing straight to the fielder, wicket falling and uh, Arkham are in trouble. 20 for 2 after 3.
Zihan Khan, the man who did most of the running, run scoring for Khandan 11, he's been trusted with the ball. We'll be bowling to Adnan Khan from the Sharjah Cricket Academy. And to talk about that and a lot more, I've got Shweb Ahmed here in the com box. Welcome, Shweb. Thank you, Rashid. First ball, puller and driven towards covers. No chance for any run whatsoever. 116 needed of 41 deliveries. Required rate of 17 and over. That's a wide. And this is going to go all the way. Yes, it will. We'll have to wait for the umpire signal. Buys signal, so four buys added to the total. That was a good delivery. He got the ball to spin as well. The keeper not picking it up. That ran away towards the boundary line for a much needed boundary coming in for Arkham CC. Non hasn't been able to get a go. He's just faced seven deliveries. Two for him. All well, that's been played. Smack down the ground. Could only be a single. Good bowling from Zishan Khan. That brings up the Lagazi on strike. Cuts it, but straight to the fielder. A lot of dot balls already from Arkham. Not good when you're chasing a target. 135. Oh, absolutely. And this looks like a different Arkham CC altogether. Meanwhile, that's been cut. The fielder making a mess of it. That's run away towards the boundary. It's a good shot indeed. A lot of uh, power behind that shot from Ghazi. Cuts it really hard. And that is a poor effort. Slipped. And hence the ball crossing the ropes. So they'll need a lot more of these boundaries coming in and from both the ends. Last delivery, meanwhile, for Zishan Khan. That's been pitched up once again, making a mess of it, the fielder. The ball is running away towards the boundary. Back-to-back -back boundaries for Abdullah Ghazi. This is good batting, not very good fielding from Khandan 11. End of the over, four gone, 33 for two. Tariq Oasi continues and he'll be bowling to Adnan Khan who's on 3 of 8. Outside the off stump, slower delivery. Doesn't get the connection. It'll only be a single. Hasn't got going here Adnan Khan. Adnan is on four of nine deliveries. On the pads, and that's flicked. One bounce over the boundary line. Abdullah Ghazi is dealing in boundaries, giving a taste of their own medicine to Khandan 11, who took him for some runs. Yes, they need a lot more of those. They need to get at least. 20 and over from here on. 17.3 is the required run rate. 
We need to hit boundaries and sixes. Play down the ground. Will they come back for the second? Adnan Khan, he's a very slow runner between the wickets. It'll only be a single then. Uh, they'll need a couple of big overs, Shweb. 20, 25 runs and over. If they can manage to get that, that'll reduce the required run rate. And Adnan Khan certainly has the ability to do that. But not against Tarek Oasis. He was bowling a decent spell here. He's gone for 14 runs in his nine deliveries. Three more to go in this over. Adnan on four of nine. Low full toss. But straight to the fielder. They wouldn't mind that those singles, doubles won't hurt them. With a turn of events from one for two, Amnan 11 have managed to reach 135 and now are making a game out of it with their ball in hand. Oh, that is a big hit. That's going to go all the way. That is a clean hit from Ghazi. Six runs added to the total. Very good shot coming in from Abdullah Ghazi, anticipating the slower delivery and then rocking onto the back foot. A lot of power behind that shot. He is a powerful young man. Six more runs added to the total. Last ball of this over coming up. Once again, off the back foot. Played it with a lot of power, but straight to the fielder. And it will only be a single to end the over. Five done, 47 for the loss of two. Vishan to continue. Inside out. One bounce. No, it's gone all the way for six. That's a very good hit from Ghazi. Keeping Arkham CC in the game. Well, certainly that was in the slot. Once again, that power generates from the back foot. Takes it all the way for a maximum. This is good hitting coming in from Ghazi. 26 of 8. Adnan Khan has to Make sure he comes into the party as well. Down the leg side. That's clipped off his toe. Will that be allowed to take a single? They want to come back for the second. Abdullah Ghazi. Oh no. That won't be a run. There was no shot offered. So All those two runs taken for nothing. Adnan Khan would not be happy. Yes, he had to run to... And that's not even counted for. Tipped towards long off. That'll bring Adnan Khan on strike. Got three deliveries to go in this over. Adnan Khan, he needs, needs to make a move now. He's taken 10 deliveries for his 5 runs. Very unlike him. That's a big shot. And that's gone all the way. A welcome maximum for Adnan Khan. He needs a lot more of those. At well, this time it was in the slot. And that's his strong area. He does like to play it in the V. Goes uh, high up again. It's time it's not connected too well and will find the fielder. That's the end of the innings for Adnan Khan.
Zishan gets a wicket to his name, and that's the big wicket, the big fish, Adnan Khan. Literally the big fish. Adnan Khan not middling that one, getting the toe end of the bat, playing it slightly earlier, seven miles up in the air, and a good catch taken. And that struggle comes to an end. Laborious innings from Adnan Khan, 11 of 12 deliveries. Third wicket down on the score at 60 for Arkham CC. The captain Jafar Nakvi walks in and gets the bottom edge between the legs of the wicket keeper and that's running away towards the boundary. Doesn't have the legs to go all the way. But they will pick up a couple of runs. Good over coming to an end. Picked up the big whip fish, Adnan Khan in that over. Six overs done, 62 for three. Oh, that was an edge. Azi could have gotten a wicket. The very first ball of his spell. Keeper missing it completely. That should have been taken. Has been played in the gap. It's going to go all the way for four runs. Azi continues to impress one and all. He's middling the ball well, and he's finding the gaps as well. Once again, rocking onto the bat foot. Hammers that through the cover point. Four more runs. This is getting difficult for them. That required run rate, almost touching 20 runs and over now. Oh, that's bold. Aim. Slower delivery does the trick. Good comeback from Azi. And Abdullah Ghazi, he'll have to walk back. Well, Azi takes the wicket of Ghazi and brings Khandan 11 back into the game. Full delivery. Missing it. And the stumps are disturbed. 66 for 4.
by the current menon. Pushed it towards covers and they've taken a quick run. They're going for the second. And will get it comfortably as well. No backup there. And they'll easily cross through for that extra run. Season two of one. Jafar on, on the same score. 68 of the last 20 deliveries. That's what Arkham requires. It's a low full toss. It's been played up in the air. Doesn't have the distance. And another one bites the dust. Good catch taken by Zishan. Malazi, he's getting another wicket to his name. Slower delivery again flighted and was a full toss. Couldn't get the connection right. And Karan finds the fielder at long on. So 68 for 5 now. Arkham CC. Side off and short ball to end the over. Good one from Azi. Two wickets to his name. 68 for five. Ali comes in, bowls a beautiful delivery that went a little too much in the air, giving it that almighty swish. Not able to connect. Jaffer, the captain, still out there. Once again, slower in the air, not bouncing as much as he was expecting it. Good bowling this from Khandan 11. Then not letting them score. 68 of 16 required. Looks like a very daunting task from here on. And this time he bowls it on the stumps. Jafar trying to go big. Doesn't connect. And Ali gets a wicket as well. So Arkham faltering in this run chase are tearing down the barrel as the captain walks back. Jafar Nakwi, 2 of 4. 68 for 6.
been played towards long on for a single. Fourteen deliveries left to end the game. Singles just not going to help Arkham CC get those sixty six runs. I think they'll just want to play those ten overs now. Thirteen more deliveries to go. Try to get as many as they can. End of the over from Ali, another successful over. A wicket and just three runs coming. Eight overs gone, 71 for six. That's a wide delivery. 12 legal deliveries left in the game. They'd want to finish things off quickly, Khandan 11. Played towards the mid-on. Dealing in singles, both these batters. That's been hit hard and will beat the fielder at long off. So finally a boundary coming in for our calm CC. A little too late in the game, but they'll take whatever they can get in the 10 deliveries that are left. Kasim smashed that towards long off for four. Wide of the long off fielder, chase given by Omar, but Paul wins the race on that occasion. Swing at the edge can only be a single. delivery but I think the bail is fallen in front of the wicket so it doesn't look like the ball has contacted the stumps but a good delivery coming in from Azi two more to go in this over the writing is on the wall for Arkham CC 58 more required of the last eight deliveries the batting was a problem for them today Adnan Khan especially not getting a move on. One more run added to total. Mistimed hit. The overthrow will get them a single. Oh no, they'll not be able to get that single. That's a run out, suicidal there. But they've lost another wicket in the most uh, bizarre fashion. There was never a run. They went for it. And now Qasim will have to 
send his partner off. Tamim walking back. 79 for 7. That's in the air. And what are we seeing here? There was a fielder there. The ball has beaten him. We'll have to look at it from the other angle, Rashid. So once again, that flight coming in from Asad. And Kasim trying to heave that over mid-wicket. The fielder there. Misjudging that one. That one miles in the air. Probably lost it in the lights. Yeah, does well to make sure he keeps it in the playing area. But they do pick up a couple of runs. Five more deliveries to go. It's a matter of pride now for Arkham CC. Kasim once again trying to heave that. Not a good connection. They want to come back for the second. Kasim does. But they'll settle for a single. They'll bring Asmat on to strike. He's the new man in for Arkham CC. Flight to delivery once again. Doesn't get a hold of it. One more run will be added to the total. Last three deliveries to go in this Innings, three legal deliveries, that is. Ali Asad. Once again, flighted delivery. It's in the air, field underneath, and well, I think he's grasped that one. Ali, the fielder there. Kasim survives once again. That was another flight to delivery, getting to the pitch of the ball, doesn't get the connection and an easy catch drop there at long off. Doesn't matter, they've got the game in their hands. Asmat hitting it towards mid-wicket. Last ball to come. And that is it. That is going to be the end of the innings and the game. They're looking for two, a collision. So two runs added to the total. And Arkham CC could only manage 86 in their 10 overs. 87 in their 10 overs. Handan 11 win the game by 48 runs. That's a big margin and will definitely boost the net run rate. Let's look at the batting card for uh, Arkham CC. It's a very sorry looking batting card for Arkham. 31 from 13 was the only notable performance from Abdullah Ghazi. All the others have uh, not shown up tonight for Arkham. Just couldn't get it going and could only manage 87 in their 10 overs. Bowling very impressive from Khandan 11. Almost everyone getting a wicket except for Rahim. Pick of the bowlers there. Azi bowling the last two overs in the death, giving away 20, 14 runs and taking two wickets to his name. 11 extras, and that has helped Arkham reach 87. Oh yeah, that was a good effort coming in from Khandan 11. Making sure they crossed the line. We did see 
Arkham CC was a bit complacent first up in the first innings and that has made them pay and pay dearly those two points going to Khandan 11 well, those are the highlights it was a wickets galore for Arkham CC they started off well but Faran Babar lost his wicket early on good catch taken by Tarek we did see Wajahat trying to heave that but lost his wicket. Abdullah Ghazi provided some impetus in the middle, heading back to back boundaries. But just couldn't keep going. Adnan Khan did also hit, managed to hit a six but was gone the right next delivery. Couldn't get going today and which is why Arkham CC I feel couldn't get close to that target. Abdullah Ghazi was bowled off a good delivery by Azi. And then the wickets just kept tumbling down. Some good catches taken in the deep. Jafar, clean bowl there. Qasim did switch a partnership together. But at the end, they did lose some wickets. Two runouts as well. Qasim trying to hit some runs. There were some catches dropped. And at the end, Arkham CC couldn't get over the line. And Khandan 11 winning this game by 48 runs. Let's have a look at the match summary then. Khandan 11 winning the toss, selecting to bat first. Got off to a huge total, 135 runs in there. Lot of 10 overs. Ishan Khan, 92 of 38 deliveries. That he was the man who took the game away from Arkham CC. Asad, 19 of 16. Umar Abbas, 16 of 5. Asmat was the only successful bowler for Arkham CC, picking up three wickets. Abdullah Ghazi, in reply, came out, scored 31 of 13. Cast him 12 of 8. Those are the two batters who got some runs under their belt. And Azi picked up a couple of wickets along with Umar Abbas and Ali picking up a wicket each, restricting Arkham CC to 87 for the loss of 7 and Khandan 11 winning the game by 48 runs. And then that's it from up here at the com box. We will dive into a short break and when we come back, it will be Asim Sheikh with the post-match presentation. Good night and take care. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome uh, to the post-match presentation of the 34th Sharjah Ramadan League S10, powered by Fancode. Before we begin, we would like to take this opportunity to thank Sharjah Cricket and all the administration involved in making this tournament a success. And also taking this opportunity to thank all our sponsors, our streaming partner Fancode, our event partner TCM and our support sponsor rsook.com. This was the 24th match of the tournament played between Khandan 11 and Arkham CC. Winning the toss, electing to bat first, Khandan CC put up a good show and winning the game by 50 runs. I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Tessin Javed, our match referee, to the post-match presentation, who will be handing over the R. Souk Player of the Match Award to none other than Zishan Khan of uh, Khandan 11. Zishan fell short of his the first century of S10 by eight runs. He scored 92, seven sixes and five boundaries in that knock and also picking up a wicket. Zishan, not letting you go. Uh, what a fantastic knock. Uh, you know, when you arrived at the crease, one for two, what was going on in your mind? Uh, first of all, Alhamdulillah, I scored in this match. Uh, when I went to the crease, actually it was like one for two. And then I thought to just uh, uh, like play one or two balls and then go for the hitting. And I was sure today that I will score. Inshallah, because you know, uh, last two matches I didn't score and I was out for like maybe one or two balls. And today I was planning to go like till end and score for the team and Alhamdulillah, I scored. When you said, I was sure that I'm going to score, what was the reason? Was it the good iftar or was it the taraweeh? Uh, no, actually, I just had a match before this one in Eden Gardens in Ajman. 
and uh, I was like I went to the event opener there and I was like a bit confident because of the bowling there because it was like Edwin uh, players there bowling to me so I was confident that I will score here today. Well, you've put up a fantastic show, but uh, you know, fell short of that hundred. Where do you think you could have made it possible? Uh, no, actually, uh, you know, I was not thinking about the hundred. I was mainly I was thinking about the team score. So uh, that's why you know I was like uh, not focusing on my hundred. If it was done, it was like uh, good for me, and I was uh, I will be like more happy at that time. But uh, at at last, you know, uh, the team won. This is the main thing. What I have. Well, definitely a show that everyone would remember. What a fantastic performance. All the very best. Go well with the next games. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, uh, that's it. That's it from the post-match uh, presentation. And uh, we'll be live back here again uh, from the Sharjah Cricket Stadium tomorrow again for two exciting battles. Until then, good night. Have a nice sleep.